Hi everyone, today is, one sec here, sorry, is Thursday, October 11, and uh, this video is just going to be a commentary about a documentary I was just watching. Um, it was actually an investigative documentary that was um, um, facilitated by um, a person by the name of Michael Wallace. And um, it was this documentary talking about the history of the KKK in the United States and how they sort of came together, how they organized themselves within themselves as some kind of fraternity group, but also organized themselves um, strategically. And they were... You know, every time I, I see stuff like this, like, you know, I have... Um, you know, different texts that I refer to that I say to people that you should have this in your home. Every home should have these texts so that we're reminded of the richness within us. And um, this piece actually talks about how the KKK was started and some of their ideals about the supremacy of whiteness and power dynamics and all the stuff related to no soul. When you have a soul, you don't even think of violence because the soul knows a soul knows no violence. I don't understand why these persons do these things. You know, they had this this they were showing this march and they had, you know, these these guys, they had like a little doll, it was about like a little plastic thing, I don't know what it was, but it was a little black doll, and then they put this little string around the, the neck of the doll, and it was about this big. They were marching, you know, and showing this, this person being lynched, a little baby thing, just dangling like this, like, I don't know what this little thing was called that they were, but it was a black baby and it was dangling on a piece of string and they're like, ah. I thought to myself, that's fucking pathological. You know? These are sick people. And to those sick people, when you have that kind of thing in you, to even think to do something like that to a person, you know what, you have no soul. And you know what? You guys will suffer. A soul knows no violence. You know, they had um, this one chocolate. You know what they did to him? They carved KKK on his chest. He was still alive. You know? Imagine what he went through. They hung him by his ankles and carved it. Where the fuck do you get this barbarianism thing from? I've read about, like, all kinds of stuff in Europe. You know? Black Death, and you know, just a lot of different other things. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm trying to understand, like, how do you actually deal with this bullshit, right? Because to me, I love my blackness. There's nothing wrong with loving your whiteness, your Punjabiness, your Chineseness, your Japanness, or whatever, right? But there is something wrong with violence. Huge. Huge. People, you do shit like that, you got to think about your core, your soul. A soul knows no violence. You know, after this uh, documentary, I was like, you know what? What did I actually learn from this? So I wrote a little thing, just a little reflection on a piece of paper. I color code things, by the way. And I go through edits a lot of times. Not to change the style, because of style, I write spirit into my work. Anyways, this is a little reflection that I wrote. One of the lessons learned from this is for these persons to know there is nothing wrong with loving their cultures, as we, for example, love ours. Our blackness, or Punjabiness, or Chineseness and additional. What these persons have to do is they have to also understand that their violence will not be tolerated. Because 
even in 2012, we're dealing with this problem related to the supremacy of whiteness in living practices, in the social construction of policy, in things related to privilege. You even have this element of these uh, Caucasians, but they come from a different geography. And they say that they're not Caucasians because they're from this geography. But if you see how they actually embed themselves into the Canada social infrastructure and decision making around that, it is so pathetic, really pathetic. And then they say, oh, well, we're not white, you know, because we're from this geography. Yes, they are white. There's nothing wrong with loving your whiteness. But what the fuck is your culture, people? And you know what? There are people like myself who look like me, people of color, who actually adopt these dirty KKK ways. Why? I don't adopt them because you know what? I have a soul. continue with what I wrote, my little teeny reflection. I hope these persons come to love their self one day and to also see that there is something truly in their soul. A soul does not promote violence. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this thing called the supremacy of KKKness. You know, they had these words, um, these terms. <laughs> Clandom and the Clan Bureau investigation blowing up all these places. You know, if that's not terrorism, it should be terrorism. It really amazes me what people do sometimes. like to hear your thoughts on KKK violence. What are some ways to address this stuff? For example, peace officer services. Why is it all Caucasians? What did they learn from history? You know, we have to start looking at, you know, economic innovation. We have to start looking at, oh, we need to make some adjustments. You know what? Adjustments one day will look like this to you guys. And worse. You know, Morris Dees, civil rights uh, petitioner, uh, started attacking this Klan thing through civil rights lawsuits in the millions. I respect people like that. Because you know what? They have some fucking ethics. But we should also be the ones processing those lawsuits as well. A soul knows no violence. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thank you.